This is the technical approach behind creating a vision map. It all begins with a mind map with the client. Practice asking open-ended questions and consultative selling. And be sure to study up on the techniques of mind mapping from Use Both Sides of the Brain by Tony Buzan. Next, look for themes across the mind map, like what is it you're trying to do? What are the benefits and success factors? What enables you along the way? And what are next steps? Once you have the themes, use those as the building blocks for layout. This is where you get to flex your creative self a little bit. You can find some examples of layouts in the Grove's strategic visioning cards and on their website under story maps. Once the client approves one of your concept thumbnails, create a digital template either in Illustrator or in PowerPoint. This should be no more than a simple line drawing. Once you've got that, hit print. Your next step will be to trace the simple line drawing using a light table. The reason we use hand-drawn organic drawings is because it has a back of the napkin feel and welcomes feedback from clients and stakeholder groups. Next, scan the drawing using auto trace or image trace in Illustrator or just use the snipping tool and copy into PowerPoint. Once you've got it in Illustrator, you can add color either by using a tablet or by clicking on the shapes and filling with color. The thing is with using a tablet is that it requires talent and practice. Your last step is to add text boxes. Remember to include content at a glance, scan, and read level and to pull in best practices for text and layout. Add a frame, title, date, point of contact, and don't forget to wash rinse, and repeat the editing process with the client with regards to the content.